Please rise. O come, O come, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So today we do celebrate uh, one of the early saints of the church, who was also a virgin and martyr, Saint Lucy. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to enter the sacred mysteries by recalling to mind our sins, asking the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the glorious intercession of the Virgin and Martyr, Saint Lucy, give us new heart, we pray, O Lord, so that we may celebrate her heavenly birthday in this present age, and so behold things eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know, uh, have you not heard, the Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth? He does not faint nor grow weary and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting. For the weak, he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youths stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagle's wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. 
the word of the Lord. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. They that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. This is a promise in today's first reading from Isaiah. And we see similarly in today's gospel, Jesus tells the crowds, come to me and I will give you rest. And all you who are labored and burdened, how we grow weary many times when we rely on our own strength. But when we rely on Jesus as the source, knowing that we do walk with the Lord, we do not tire as easily. We lean into the arms of the one who loves us and assists us in our day-to-day -day burdens. So let us humbly ask Jesus to help us as we carry those burdens that we have, that the Lord will be with us as we do so day by day. As we do ask the Lord to help us as we live out our lives, let us lift up our prayers to our Lord. For the Holy Church, that it may reveal the glory of the Lord for all peoples to see, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace throughout the world during this Advent season, especially in the Middle East and in Ukraine, let us pray to the Lord. 
for those who are sick and are dying, that they may be prepared to meet Christ in a state of penitence and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For the gift to be patient with others, even if we differ in great matters, let us pray to the Lord. For greater awareness of those who have less than we have during this season as we approach Christmas, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. And for a mass intention this morning, for the repose of the soul of Hilario Calibet, and this mass is offered, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to strengthen us in our brothers and sisters as we lift up our prayers to you. We ask you to receive them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, in work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God. The Almighty Father, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Lucy win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and his assistant, Bishop Gregory, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on blessed Lucy a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Immaculate Mary, your praise we sing. You reign down in splendor with Jesus our King.